Ford 10R80 10 speed automatic transmission. So we all know about the CDF drum issue with the uh, pushing, rotating, or um, shifting and causing pressure loss on these Teflon rings here. But let me show you another issue. It's nowhere near as common, but um, here's your input shaft here. The input shaft has uh, four passages on here it's for the C clutch, D clutch, F clutch, and torque inverter clutch. And these holes have plugs inside of them, and sometimes they will come loose. And that'll cause shift concerns or loss of engagement. So pretty much today I want to uh, explain to you how to check those. And I do have a article I'm going to put in the description below that I read and learned this from. Sorry for the mess there, I got a bag of rags. So one of these four is for the torque converter clutch, and that one is supposed to flow, uh, flow freely. And it'll come out of this hole right here on top. Blow, you can blow air in here, and it'll come out right there. And the other ones I blew air in, and no air came out of the other side, and that's good. If you've got air blowing straight through on more than just a torque converter clutch, then you probably have a plug that's blown out. Also check the Teflon rings right here all the way down. Make sure they're in good shape. In my example here, or in my situation, I have a C-clutch application issue. The uh, C-clutch is the third one down here. See, I'm, I'm uh, pointing at that right now. Okay. So if we come straight up here, here's the entrance for it right here. I blew air and through here, and it held air. I'm going to tip it over here and show you inside of here. Straight in the middle of the camera. You see that little silver circle right there? Right in the middle. That's the plug. It is intact. You can also look down here. Let me get a flashlight. So that's next to impossible to get on camera here, but if you look straight down there, it'll almost look like a tiny little check ball way down in the bottom there. If it looks like those are right up... Let me rephrase. If it, if you see what looks like little balls up here right at the end of the shaft, they're, they've blown out and this shaft needs to be replaced. Or you can get replacement uh, plugs. I don't know where, but uh, I, I'm told that you can. I believe I saw that in the article. And you just need a, a punch long enough to get them all the way down here. But yeah, once again, three out of four holes should have plugs in the bottom. And if they're all the way up at the end and they're loose right there, that's not good. And if you're not sure if the plugs are blown out or not, and you can't see up in here or whatever, um, you can get a, a piece of coat hanger and push it down through here. And if you see it come through one of these holes, the hole that you're checking, um, then you know that it's bad. Well, you know that it's blown out. So that's just another way to check. Stick a coat hanger down in here and see if it pops up here in the hole. It should not. The uh, plug is going to be blocking anything from coming from the top down for each pressure port there. I hope this helps you guys out. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.